point again and uh, in the previous video we talked about how we wanna send send message to any external window and this time what we're gonna do we're gonna use the same function but it's but instead of sending the text we wanna re retrieve the text from a window and uh, let's uh, start so I'm gonna open my visual studio this is where we left off so I'm gonna open uh, API viewer again API viewer again and in the constant the message that I want to look for is WM get text and WM get text length I'm gonna copy these two go to my win32 class I'm gonna paste this right here all right make this public now I'm gonna make another overload for send message and I'll explain why and I'm gonna make this the last parameter I'm gonna make this a string builder text.string the reason is because when we send the message WM get text the way win32 API works is that if you wanna guess get any text from an external window first you have to allocate some memory or you have to create a buffer for the string so in .NET, uh, uh, if you want to create a buffer, we use String Builder. So that's why uh, I put a String Builder in there. So we just make another overload. We're good here. I'm going to save this and right here. So in the previous video, we send, sent a message. I'm going to comment this all out. Actually, I'm going to get rid of it. It's just getting crowded all right so that's right here so I'm gonna make uh, some uh, variables here I'm gonna first I'm gonna make a uh, dim count as integer and then dim SB as uh, system dot text dot string builder all right so first what I'm gonna do is so since we want to retrieve some text so, so let's put some text in here um, hello my name is Muhammad Sahil Safir. All right. Um, so we want to retrieve this text into a message box. So first, what we're going to do is I'm going to go count equals to win32 dot send message, and we want to send the message to the child handler. We want to retrieve the text from the edit box. So we're going to go child handler. And we want to go win32. We want to set a type of message we want to send. We want to go win32.wm get text length because first I want to check what the length is and then no, don't need to specify any additional information. I'm going to pass 00. zero. So, what this is going to do is it's going to return me uh, how many characters we want to read. So, it's going to put that in this count variable. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to allocate some memory. So, I'm going to go sp equals to new system dot text dot string builder and I'm gonna pass in this count so we wanna allocate this memory okay now once that is done I wanna send another message and this time I'm gonna go win32 dot send message to child handler and the type of message we wanna go win32 dot wm get text the third parameter so that so this is where the additional information comes in so in this in this third parameter we want to pass how many characters do we want to read and I can just go you can either go count or I, I'm just gonna go SB dot capacity and the buffer uh, where we want to uh, receive our text so I'm just gonna so since we have the string builder we're gonna I'm just gonna pass SB and that's it and once that is done I'm just gonna go message box dot show um, sb dot to string. One uh, thing I forgot to mention is when I receive the text, I'm gonna I'm gonna receive the text only up till here. Like it's not gonna read this R. The reason is because uh, Win32 APIs they reserve a character for um, a null terminating uh, for the null terminating space. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pass uh, count plus one right 
and once I do that, then it's gonna uh, it's gonna retrieve this R2. So again, uh, if you don't it, uh, again, uh, why I'm doing it is because uh, Win32 API it reserves a space for the uh, terminating uh, character, null terminating character. All right, so that's done. Uh, so a quick overview again. So first, we wanna retrieve how many uh, what's the uh, how many length uh, how many char characters to read. Uh, we put that in count variable, we declare, we allocate some memory uh, with string builder, we send another message uh, for wd uh, mget text, and then we put the capacity in how many characters we want to read, and we put the buffer in, which is sb, and then we just do message box dot show sb dot to string. Let's see. And there you go. Hello, my name is Muhammad Safir. So, hail Safir. All right, that's it. So it's that simple. So now you can send the messages to external windows. You can retrieve the text from external windows. Now, since this is very, very, uh, it's very basic because, like I said, it's just Notepad, and then first you found the parent handler, you found the child handler, which is pretty easy. But then when you work with real application, it gets very complicated because this text box it might be buried under thousands, uh, not thousands, it might be buried under five other windows. So then in order to get that text box, you have to uh, loop through uh, first five windows. Once you get the handlers for that, then you might get the handler for the sixth window. And for that, there is like a lot to, to support my uh, explanation. I'll just quickly show you an example. Uh, if I just launch my Spy++, like I mentioned, it's very basic, but let's say if uh, we were dealing with something very complicated. I don't know. Uh, let's pick a window here. Visual Studios, why not? So let's say we were working with Visual Studio. So first, you expand that. This is the parent handler. You expand that. This is a child, child. So let's say we were working with Toolbox. We expand that, and then, well, for this one, it's it's pretty simple. Like the window is right here, but let's see. Yeah, there you go. See? So let's say uh, we were working with Visual Studios. You open the window. This is the parent handler. You want to you expand one more. Then you expand one more. You expand one more. So let's say you were you want to work with this property grid toolbar. Now, this is this is a long list. Like in order to get to this window, first you have to get the handler for this, 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 and then you can you can do that with find window, find window X with that combination. But then it's very tedious and time consuming. And for that, there is a function for that. That uh, the function name is called enum child windows. And what that does is that you just pass in the parent handler, and it it will loop through all those child windows, even those that are created at runtime. It will uh, it will retrieve the handler for that. We're gonna be working with that um, pretty soon here, sometime in future. But I just thought I, I should just throw it out and uh, let you know because since the Notepad is very basic. So that's all uh, for this window. Um, I mean <laughs> for this tutorial. Uh, in the next uh, tutorial, I'm gonna be going over the enum child windows that the the function that I just talked about, and I'll show you how to drill down to how to loop through all those windows that are buried under 10 or 15 other windows. So that's it. Thank you guys.